Well, hello, my lovely people. You're all probably wondering, hey, Kaylee, it's April. Why are you just now filming a BoxyCharm for March? And I'll tell you why. So, USPS decided to lose my package. Tisa calls them the other day, and lo and behold, the lady just up and laughed in her face and was like, oh, that's gone. We don't know where it is. So, somewhere in Iowa, someone, you're welcome. But BoxyCharm was really awesome, and they decided to ship me a new one, and it only took like three days, and they were, thank you, BoxyCharm, thank you. So, I'm gonna actually, finally, film my unboxing video. So, I'm really excited this one was the Lucky Charm, and I'm sure all of you already know what it is, but I still want to do it because it's fun. So, we can go ahead and have our first look-sees. Oh... It's so adorable for those of you who haven't seen it already. Super cute. For those of you who already have it, you're probably like, duh, Kaylee. Of course it's cute. So they sent their little flyer out, and it says, Lucky Charm, we searched high and low to reach the end of the rainbow for your boxy pot of gold. And with the fresh and out, in with the fresh and out with the old. So bring out your pastels and prepare the dewy skin. Your March Boxy Charm is here to release the Lucky Charm within. Oh, make your own luck this month with hashtag Boxy Charm. I feel like they always have the cutest fucking postcards. Like I never, I never feel. I like. I'm like, don't send me one. Send me a Blake one. Send me a Blake one so I can have it because it's just cute. So I guess we'll start with the first product on the line. <sighs> I'm so excited for one of these. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Okay. So we're going to start, ooh, I love hairspray, oh my god, I'll show you guys my closet, it's out of this fucking world. Okay, so first we have the Oscar Blondie hair products, and this is the travel size. I love it. And it says, Oscar Blondie's styling solutions are inspired by his love of hair and his passion <clears throat> Excuse me, allergies. And his passion for helping you express yourself, blending his extensive professional experience with innovation. Oscar launched his collection to renew and rejuvenate his Oscar worthy hair, infused with rich botanical ingredients to provide a luxurious experience for the sense and for any hairstyle. Let's smell it. I I'm a big smeller. Oh, I like that. It's really... It's like florally. I hate the word muskies. I feel like it... Like, you know, you think of musky, you're like, ugh. Or like grandma, but it's like a good musky. And like really florally. Oh, it smells really good. Yay, and this one's for volume, hold, and shine, which I don't particularly like to be shiny because I feel like with like my natural hair color, which this most of my re regrowth, excuse me, most of my regrowth is my natural color. I do have a bit of blonde at the end, and which is fine on there, but I feel like it makes me look a little greasy. But um, I'm always up for vibe. I love big hair, and I, I like my hair to touch the ceiling. Thank you. We'll go ahead and set that there. And then that one retails for about $11. Remember, this box is $21. So, so far, we're about halfway there. So, that's awesome. And then the next one is a full-sized Ofra, Ofra eyeliner. And that is in the color black. I don't know if you guys noticed at all, but it's pretty much the only color eyeliner I wear. So, that's awesome. And then we'll swatch it. I don't mind the pencils. I'm not the biggest fan. Um, I don't particularly want a pencil. I prefer like the roll-up kind. But it's good in cases of like throwing in my purse. You know, to have be touched between, you know, work and hair school. So that's fun. This one retails for about $13. And I'll let you guys see that. I don't know how well you guys can see it. But it is. It's just your 
typical pencil and the color is really actually pretty pigmented. I don't know how high end this line is. I know that the Oscar Blondie is pretty a it's a good line, but I'm not I've never heard of the Ofra before. I don't know if any of you have, but I'm excited to give that a shot. So we'll go ahead and stick this over here. Okay. So that one was 13, so 11 and 13 so far. Um, next one is our LVX Nail Lacquer. I have not owned one of their nail lacquers, but I have actually heard really good things about them. And I'm actually wearing the polish from the February Boxy Charm. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't want to like flip you off, but I've got them on my middle finger. Just a little hearts. I didn't actually paint them, though, because it came off like... It's just really goopy. So I actually toothpicked each individual heart on there. And it turned out really well. And this is like three days old and it's holding up really nicely. But this is the LVX Nail Lacquer Full Size. And this is in the color 029. I guess it doesn't have like a name name. I like them with a name name. But this is the color that that is. It's really cute. I love those mint greens. I can never have too much polish. I mean, that's a lie. I have way too much polish, but I love these like florally mints and I do, I don't know if you guys like know like the OPI, um, what is it called? I don't remember what it's called, but it's kind of the same color, just like a mint green, which is really cute. I don't know. It might come off like lime green to you guys, but it's actually really pastel and very pretty. So I'll probably wear that in my next video so you guys can see. So that one's really nice. And that one retails for whole oh, $16. Holy cow. So the box has already paid for itself. I don't know if you guys have caught on yet. But we're so far at 11 13 and 16 And we've still got two more products to go. No big deal. So the next one, I, I'm so excited for this. I love getting lip products in boxes. Like, it's my biggest guilty pleasure is to just grab a lipstick while I'm at, like, Ulta or Sephora. And my fiance always is like, Kaylee, you have the same color of this. I'm like, no, no, nope, not at all. Anywho, so the next color that we have is the Tarte Lip Surgeons, which is lip tint in charm. Because <sighs> it's a lucky charm. That's clever. And so here is that. I've had a few Tarte actual like jumbo crayons like these. And they work really well. Um, I'm a big fan of them. The only issue that I've ran into with the jumbo lip crayons is that sometimes they like to, you know, sneak out and disconnect from itself. And you just kind of got to rub it back in there. Not a big deal. It actually holds up really well once you get it back in there. But this is the color. And it's actually pretty sheer. It's a very, very, very pretty color. I don't know if you guys can see that. And this is what it looks like swatched. It's a nice, um, nice sheer pinky, good for spring, good to just like throw in your purse and kind of go. Um, I'm a huge fan of jumbo crayons. I've said that like eight times. I love them. Okay. Okay. Now that it's everywhere, I'm just going to put that there. So that one is $24 and they, I've used them before. I love Tarte's, any of their lip products. They're actually really nice. And that one is it's got like this mint smell to it and they're really moisturizing. Um, I literally have like 14 hour days. Like I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and I won't be getting home till like 10.30. So once I start school. So it's like a lot of time to be wearing one lip color. A lot of time for it to be, you know, eating, drinking, staying on your lips, doing all this stuff, talking, you know, whatever. And sometimes they tend to get cakey, and I've noticed that with those, I never have that issue because it's just so moisturizing. Like, they don't, they're not, this one's not very matte. I have a couple matte ones, but they're all the same. They last really well, so I love those. Um, but yeah, so the next one is the Previs Nutrify Skin Type 1-6 Universal Tonic, and that's full-sized. And then this one is free of parabens, silicones, and skin clogging petroleum ingredients. It neutrifies skin types between 1 through 6, hydrates skin, and speeds healing while fight, fighting free radicals. I love when they say that. And surface irritants. And you apply it 
to a clean dry face by squeezing five drops into the palm of your hand. Gently rub with your fingertips to warm and emulsify for an even all over application. This one retails for about $48 and I'll go ahead and pull that off for you guys. Let's see. It is in a glass bottle. I like that. I like when they're packaged real nice. And it's very like, I don't know how, it's really liquidy. So it's not very like, it looks like it might be a gel, like if you look just right into it. But it looks kind of more like a serum. And this is what it looks like, full sized. And I'm assuming you just don't need a whole lot of it. So I'm going to try it out. Just a little. Just one drop. That's cool. It's in my mailbox. Oh! Oh, wow. It's like water. It's like not even there. It has absolutely no scent which is, I think, is really good in a skincare. I don't mind scent. Like, I use Benefit. Sometimes I use their, like, facial moisturizers, and they're really scented. And they're actually pretty nice. So sometimes, I mean, it's okay, but depending on the lip product, I just feel like it needs to. Oh, it just sinks right in. So, once it's dry, it just, oh, my goodness, it feels so smooth. That is wonderful. So... I don't know if this would be considered, I am assuming this would be considered just like a toner. Um, I have been recently using the United States toner from, from, oh what is it called? It's like the vitamins. It's going to drive me nuts. I don't remember. But anywho, if you know the United States toner, you can comment below to let everybody else know. And I'm going to link it because I'm an idiot apparently. But the, I use that toner and it seems to be working really well. And I don't, I'm really weird about skincare sometimes. I break out really easily and I'm really sensitive skin. So I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I might use it more as like my serum. Because I do have, I do like a, like a four, five step skincare every night and morning. So I might try it out and see how it goes as my serum with my toner. Um, just because my skin's already gotten used to it and I don't want to like freak it out. So I'm really excited to give this a shot. And I can already like, it's just, it's not sticky. It leaves your skin really soft. It's really nice. So I'll give this one a shot and let you guys know how it goes. Um, this might be this might be a gift for somebody because I'm usually allergic to like everything skincare, but I will try it and let you guys know how that went. And then I don't know if anybody else got this, but at the bottom of my boxy charm, I have a 20% off coupon to Tarte. Yay! I love Tarte. I my favorite, other than the lip products from Tarte, is like their blush, because they have really good blushes. Um, I'm a huge fan of those. So, that's always nice. So that was this month's Boxy Charm. I'm really excited. I just got my confirmation of payment for my Ipsy bag, so that should be coming any day now. So, I will let you guys know how that goes. Um, and we will film that. And make sure you like and subscribe and tell me all about your boxes and let me know what you like and you don't like and if you're super not allergic and your skin's awesome and lets you you know use face serum tell me how you like the face serum slash oil slash tonic because i really don't know what to call it but it makes your skin really soft but yeah so let me know how that goes make sure you like and subscribe and i will see y'all later i just wanted to show you guys how many hairsprays i had we're just gonna take an adventure into Kaylee's closet. I don't know if you can see every single one of them, but the line goes all the way back into my closet. I have a hairspray problem. And makeup problem, apparently. Hi guys.